rural communities across Minnesota are dealing with funding and workforce struggles involving emergency medical services. Now some local organizations are hoping to find a solution. KIMT News 3's Max Haslow sat in on a roundtable discussion with area leaders about the future of ambulance services. He's joining us live from Mayo Clinic Health System in Austin. Max. Well, Jess, here at the uh, Health Service Building, this is where the roundtable discussion was being held earlier. and It was being hosted by the Minnesota Ambulance Association and the, rural Cent the Center for Rural Policy and Development. They say that a lot of the structures for these rural ambulance services haven't really changed that much since the 70s, and it's a dire situation that they understand, as well as the rest of the organizations that were in attendance today. Now, according to a study done by the center, uh, one of the biggest issues facing ambulance services right now is funding. Uh, ambulance services are considered transportation instead of emergency services, which can lead to lower funding. And ambulance services uh, are also struggling with finding volunteers as large rural areas are losing population and the job gets more complicated. Now, the executive director of the Minnesota Rural Health Association tells me emergency services have been working with lawmakers on solutions like better education for EMTs. And we'd like to build on that, uh, continue to find uh, those areas where we can help, um, but uh, we really need to focus on the model. We need to really focus on uh, building a system across the state uh, that's going to be sustainable uh, and, and it's going to serve the communities well. Now, Jones also told me that one other solution could be moving some of these volunteer positions into fully paid positions, that is, if they are able to acquire more funding. Live in Austin, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Max. The report from the Center for Rural Policy and Development lists six recommendations for lawmakers to consider. They include restructuring primary service areas, improving sustainability, and improving oversight.